Okay, this is a quick follow-up video on the Dell Laptop Saga. I'm just going to cover some simple things. Um, to find out whether you got your particular model of Dell that you're interested in uses RAID, search with your model number replacing that number there and use this text okay in Google. Um, that way you can find out because unfortunately Dell's manuals are not always as clear as the ones that I showed you in the Saga 2 video. They don't always explain um, it, they don't always have a setup uh, guide that actually goes through those defaults like I showed you yesterday. So you may have to do some Googling and in fact for the 6400 and 6500 that's what I had to do. I still don't have a clear answer. Okay. So I went searching in Google like you see here to see if the RAID on default is also true to the Dell 6400s. Now the 6400s have 800 clock, 800 megahertz memory, so they're slow. But they're nice machines, just the same. So if you don't mind a Pentium 4 slowness like you see in my in my videos, although my videos are even slower because I'm recording. If you don't mind that rate and that's good enough for you, then you're going to want to probably look at the 6400s. There are a bunch of them that are in Dell auction right now. I'm even thinking about getting another one because of the pricing. But they usually go for like $300. So apparently a whole lot of people like these. Okay. So what I wanted to find out is, well, does the Dell 6400 and 6500 as dippy as the, you know, uh, what do you want, want to call it, the 6530 requiring, you know, putting a default of RAID on? Okay, that's dumb. Well, it turns out the, Dell, the, the Latitude 6400 doesn't have that. Okay, and the the thing you want to download to get it is this one here. Um, no, no, not that one. Where's that? It's a family. This one. This one. Okay. This there it says E Family Mainstream Technical. This thing. This is what you want to download, and that'll give you the full specifications. It's the only way you can find them. I don't know why. The specifications that are given in the other documentation on these models doesn't list this most important feature about well when you go into setup are you going to see a RAID on default they don't cover that so you want to download this and I put a link to it um, in my Saga 2 video so that you can just click on the link go back to the Saga 2 video click on the link um, and you'll be able to you know get download this or else just search it here in Google with that listing and then you'll see it's right here on the first page okay that was the first thing I wanted to say the second thing I wanted to say about this whole business is that there's actually there's actually somebody who cares about getting RAID 0 on the Latitude 6400 and you can click on that thread again if you just search here you'll get it you can click on that thread it's only two pages long and the final the final analysis they came up with was which was back in 2009 is that no you can't get raid on it okay that that there's no option to use raid so i like that idea except that there was one of the guys in there that says well no you can still do it and then he he has a workaround so if you wanted raid 0 i can't imagine why if you wanted raid 0 you can get it but it isn't the default and the reason that matters is if you're in the market for an older computer for experimentation like I am, the 6400s and the 6500s are pretty decent machines. They're, it's easy to swap out the hard drive, and it's easy to swap out the uh, the memory. They got eSATA ports, uh, dual mode display ports. They're older machines, but they're really decent machines. And I like them better than the Precision because in the Precision only the 6600 and the 6700 which are RAID on defaults in other words the 6600 and the 6700 and the 6500 all have RAID on defaults which I don't want 
but they have easy to rem remove hard drives. But the pr other precisions do not have easy to remove hard drives, except for the 2400. The uh, Precision 2400 has an easy to remove hard drive. It's configured just like the Latitude 6400s. Okay. I'm sorry this is so confusing, but Dell makes it confusing. I mean, why do they offer so many different kinds? Why don't they sit down and think about their design of the machine and then just have it be configurable? I, you know, this, this, this is not making them money and it's confusing the customer so there are fewer sales. All right, I'm always big on, you know, if you, if you make it easy on the customer, you'll have more sales. Unfortunately, with Bible stuff, it doesn't ever make it easy on the customer. You There you need more comprehensive coverage, which, you know, makes people want to go away. Well, that's a problem. Back to the topic. Radio possible in latitude. There's a guy in this thread who said how you could do it, and the other guy said it's not native by default and you can't do it. So, you know, take your pick as to which way you want to go. Now let me explain a little bit about RAID 0 if you don't know about it. It's where you want to take two drives, hook them up together, and treat them as one drive as far as the system is concerned. But the problem with that is that if you remove one of the drives, the drive that's left can't read anything because it stores stuff in alternate patches. So the two drives, they fit together like if you were to take your two hands and you were to interlace your fingers to make them into one unit. That's how RAID 0 works. Well, if you remove your hands, you separate your hands, then neither one of your hands is going to work right. So why would you want that on a laptop? The next alternative is RAID 1, which is equivalent to a second hard drive constantly backing up what's on your first hard drive. And I can understand why some people would want that in case your first hard drive dies, but why would you want it on a laptop? What circumstance would make you need that on a laptop? Because it's an instantaneous backup. And you can buy software which will do the same job to an external drive. So why would you want to hobble your machine by giving it a RAID 1 controller configuration? Because if you want to change it and get rid of the RAID, you have to reinstall Windows again. The reason why is that Windows has one set of drivers if RAID is the configuration, a different set of drivers if AHCI is the configuration, and Windows 8 will only use AHCI. So why would you use RAID? Doesn't make any sense. Okay? But this guy, whoever the guy was, he was looking to get it here. That's what that thread is about, so you can read it. All right. Um, the, other, the other issue would be possibly, and I'm not sure that I would even argue it there, is to have a solid state drive because even these old machines allow you to have solid state drives, is to have a solid state drive and then have it hook up with, you can put in your modular bay where your optical drive goes, you can put in another hard drive and link them. Why would you do that though? You can already treat the solid state drive as its own partition. You might have to link them in the older machine in order for the solid state drive to be bootable. I'm not sure. But I just don't see any reason to select RAID O on a laptop. I certainly don't see any reason to select it for any purpose. Because you're disabling both drives when you unhook them. Okay? You have to reinstall Windows to be able to just use full Windows. But see, with a solid state drive, and the reason people buy it is they say, well, it's faster. Well, not always. Okay, and given how Windows operating system works, that solid state drive is going to wear out pretty fast because unlike a regular hard drive, it's got a more limited number of times that it can be written on. And Windows is always changing files. So you're going to have to really mess with the operating system to make it do all of its writing to some other drive, which means that you're going to have to lose your optical drive or hook up an eSATA and therefore you lose your um, uh, portability for a laptop. But of course, if it's an old laptop you don't really want to take with you anywhere, then maybe this is a good use for an old laptop you can buy cheaper. But it does allow solid state drives, but I'm thinking, well, if I had a solid state drive in there, which costs like two to four hundred dollars, okay, for 256 meg, I think it's four hundred dollars at Dell's website. 
256 gigabyte solid state drive is $400 at Dell. Okay, you might be able to get it slightly cheaper elsewhere, but not much. Okay, so if that was your solid state drive that you put as your internal drive in the in the Dell internal bay, because you got two bays, you got your internal and then you got your optical. The optical can be switched out and you can put in on a second hard drive in there instead. Okay, if you're going to have a solid state drive as your internal, then why are you going to want to hook it up in any kind of RAID array? That doesn't make any sense. Solid state drive doesn't have any moving parts. So, and you know, hello, you can switch it out at the end of the day, but the problem is it's going to get written on by Windows operating system. So, you know, that's kind of a toss up. I'm not sure I want a solid state drive. And it isn't necessarily faster, and the, the amount of, you know, speed that you gain, um, come on. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, so what? Go get a cup of coffee and save the $400 because you can buy a regular hard drive for 70 bucks. These Dell hard drives are really cheap. Okay, and you can even get uh, Western Digital Scorpio Blue or Scorpio Black. Any standard 2.5 or 1.8 drive, depending on the Dell model, will work. And they tell you in Dell, you know, when you just look up based on you look you look this up, look this up in Dell, and then write the word parts after it, and then you'll get a list of all the parts so you know what to look for in Dell or elsewhere. Well, it's a whole lot cheaper without solid state, and you don't get much difference in the speed. It doesn't slow down much, as far as I can tell. So why would you want a RAID zero? Uh, just what solid state? Why would you do this? Why? I, I can't think of a reason why, but if you want to, here's how. Okay, that was my report on this. I just wanted to close out the topic of why RAID 0, because I can't see any reason for it.